Hey there fellow YouTubers, this is Anthony Home Guitar Mods. In this week's Tone Link video, we're going to talk about what I feel is the best transparent clean boost for your guitar. Let's get started. Alright, so like I said, we're going to talk real short about what I feel is the best uh, transparent sounding clean boost uh, that you can possibly get for your guitar rig. Now obviously boost is, is a completely subjective thing uh, as with most things in guitar uh, and really you're going to have to play around with what you feel best uh, or sounds best with your rig, uh, but here's a few options of what I feel are the best transparent, meaning non-tone altering boosts uh, for your guitar amp rig. Now, a lot of guys, I think we've all done this, have gone and used just a basic overdrive pedal uh, to push an amplifier, even push uh, another pedal. Uh, so whether you're like me, I like to use um, pedal gain. Uh, so I'll use an, I usually have an overdrive that's on all the time. Um, and you're pushing that with another overdrive pedal, or maybe you're pushing an amp into overdrive with an overdrive pedal. I think that's a, a pretty standard thing to do. The problem is you're gonna get the character of whatever pedal you're using uh, into your sound. So then comes what we call a clean boost, or just a, uh, and there's lo there's lots of them out there. Uh, there's some that boost treble, there's some that boost your mids, there's some that claim to be clean, but they almost all have a sound to them. One that I personally use uh, is the Electroharmonics Line Power Booster, or the LPB1. Um, this is not a clean boost. It is it it's clean. Uh, to an extent, after a while, if you get the knob turned up, you will get overdrive from the pedal. But I find that this will boost, when you have it lower, boosts some lows and kind of muddles the sound. When you crank it up, it boosts the trebles in the sound. It's not clean. Um, it, it doesn't take your guitar signal and just turn it up. It takes your guitar signal, colors it a little bit, and then turns the volume up. What I find to be the most transparent isn't even a clean boost. It's not... Uh, advertised as a clean boost, they're not advertised. Um, honestly, the best, the best of the best, is an EQ pedal, uh, in my opinion. Um, these are supposed to be transparent. This is a Dan Electro Fish and Chips. This is a cheap or, uh, EQ pedal. Um, nothing fancy about it, uh, except for the fact that it has a level knob. You turn it right up, as well as your graphic equalizer right on the EQ pedal. You can plug this in, even this one. Uh, and turn it up, and it's going to give you exactly what you put into it, just louder. Doesn't color the tone, doesn't change the sound of your guitar, just makes it louder. Now, can you push a guitar or an amplifier in overdrive? Sure. If you turn it up, it's just like having hot pickups, but it won't color your sound. The other awesome part is you can shape with an EQ pedal, whether it's an MXR or a Joyo or a Moore or uh, the, the many, many out there. Um, if you want a certain band boosted, you just turn up that amount. An EQ pedal is also a great thing to use in an effects loop. Another great boost, a compression pedal. Uh, who knew, right? This is the SP uh, com compressor by uh, Exotic Effects. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing pedal, which we are going to do a review on and talk about because I think everybody should have one of these on their pedal board. But with this one in particular, uh, if I turn my blend all the way down, there's no compression in it, and I can get up to 15 decibels of clean boost. And again, this thing is incredibly transparent and clean. And then on the inside, there's some dip switches to either boost the treble uh, or take some lows out. But my absolute favorite pedal, uh, and we've done a review of this already, is the Boss Line Selector LS2. This pedal has been completely, completely... Uh, um, unreplaceable on my pedal board. You could do so many things with it, but one of the best parts about it is if you're not using it as a loop or whatever else, uh, if you just set it to mode like an A, like A bypass mode, you don't have to run a chord on it. Um, you just turn your A knob up, and when you turn the effect on, it boosts that volume, and it's completely clean and transparent. Now, this is not to say that there aren't some great boost pedals out there. Uh, SP them, or Exotic Effects, sorry, themselves have an awesome, awesome sounding clean boost. Um, there's there's a, a few others out there. The TC Electronic Clean Boost, the Mini they just came out with, uh, I think it's called the Spark. That's a very, very transparent clean boost. Um, but I think you can do better. You can buy a pedal or different pedals uh, that'll do more than one thing and still give you great transparent clean boost. Now, 
If you're like me and you don't mind uh, different things being being accentuated or, or brought up, or even like for myself, I kind of like that this one boosts the trebles when I'm you know going into a lead line. That's the thing to use. Anyway, this is Anthony Home Guitar Mods. Experiment with your pedals. Play around and find uh, what you like. But I would still go to look at things that aren't necessarily meant uh, for their intended use and play with them to do other things with them. Well, this is Anthony Home Guitar Mods. As always, thanks for watching. And remember, keep rocking and keep modding.